Welcome to Frida's Fish Tank. Float by and have some fun. There will be stories and crafts and fun times for children and everyone. And now your host for Digital Drag Storytime, Frida Wales. Hi. We're going to read a story, and then we're going to go start our craft, and then while that craft is drying, we're going to read a second story, and then there'll also be time to meet my pets. I know some of you know that I have a few pets. I've got a dog, a pig, and a bunny, so you'll get a little virtual petting zoo with them. And any questions you have, feel free to drop them in the comments, and I will try and answer them as best I can. Let's start off our first book. So we've got Robert Munch, We Share Everything. On the very first day of daycare, when they didn't know what to do, there's two little kids, their first time at daycare, Jeremiah said, give me that book. Amanda said, no. Jeremiah said, I'll scream. Too bad, said Amanda. That's not very nice, they should just share. It does look like a pretty good book though. Amanda stuck the book in his mouth. Blumph! Jeremiah said, whack! She shoved it right in his mouth. The teacher came running over and said, now look, this is a daycare. In daycare, we share everything. Okay, 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 said Amanda and Jeremiah. Do you think they got the idea they have to share? Also, look at that teacher. She's so fabulous. Jeremiah built a tower of blocks. Amanda said, give me those blocks. Jeremiah said, no. Amanda said, I'm going to kick it down. Too bad, said Jeremiah. Uh-oh, it doesn't look like they learned their lesson. So Amanda kicked the blocks. Crash! Blocks went all over. Amanda yelled, ouch, ouch, ow, 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 ouch, ouch, ow. The teacher came running over and said, now look, this is a daycare, and daycare we share. We share everything. Okay, 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 said Amanda and Jeremiah. You think they're going to get this time? Let's see. Then they both wanted to paint. I'm first, said Jeremiah. No, I'm first, said Amanda. So they were both first, and paint went all over the room. Yikes, that's a big mess. The teacher and all the kids said, Now look, this is a daycare! Even the kids have had enough. They're like, what's going on here? Everyone's got to share. In daycare, we share. We share everything. Share, said Amanda. Let's share our shoes. Okay, said Jeremiah. Well, now they're sharing at least. Do you think you should share shoes though? I don't know. Let's share our shirts and pants, said Jeremiah. Okay, said Amanda. Ah! Yelled the teacher. You shared your clothes? Now look! This is a daycare! In daycare, we share! That teacher looks like she's about to faint. She's like, what's going on? Get your clothes back on! There we go. Let's head on over to the craft station. Hello, now we're in the craft station. Um, so today we are gonna make a cute little puppet scene. So you can make a little creature that will go across anything you want. I obviously picked a whale, whales are my favorite. Um, but you can do any kind of scene you want. So if you wanna put grass and hills, volcanoes, whatever you want, space, moon thing, whatever. Go wherever you want. I tried to make it as simple as possible so everyone has the, uh, Supplies, so you can use a cardboard box, cereal box, any kind of box, and you're just gonna cut it up. So you got a piece like this, about postcard size, a stick, or if you have popsicle sticks at home, you can use that too. But I'm gonna just use a piece of cardboard to show you can use it, and you can just bend it over and make it stronger if you need to. A little square, so you can draw your little creature or whatever you're gonna draw on it, and then you can cut it out. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get our colors or our paints, whatever you're going to use, crayons, whatever, markers, whatever you want to use, and start painting. So I'm going to paint my little scene. So I'm going to put some blue here for water. Also make sure your parents are okay and maybe put paper towel down first or some newspaper. I'm okay, I'll wipe it after. 
tell me what you guys are going to make. Are you guys going into space? Are you going to make a dinosaur? What kind of creatures are you making? Who's making a cute little whale? Because those are my favorite, but don't be influenced by me. <laughs> Also, if you have any ideas of what you could do in the meantime as well when you're stuck at home, let me know what you're doing for crafts and fun things and adventures that you're doing with mom and dad. I hope you're not just playing video games the whole time. A little bit's okay, but not all the time. Okay, so I got my water. I'm gonna put some sky up here. <laughs> Don't worry if you get any paint on your hands, obviously, you know, we can wash our hands. Because it's very important to wash your hands right now, and always. Okay, so so far I've got my little ocean scene. Then I'm going to do a nice little happy sunshine in the corner. Alright, so I've got my happy little sunshine there. I'm going to let that dry. Uh, you guys, if it takes longer too, don't feel like you have to rush. You can color as long as you need to, and then we can always come back at a later step. I'm going to let this dry, and while that's drying, I'm going to paint my little square so I can draw a happy little whale on it. So I'm just going to paint that and then I'm going to draw a whale on it with a sharpie and then we can cut them out after. Alright, so I've got a little bit of paint on my hands so I'm going to take off my ring. So we've got our soap, just liquid soap right there, a little pump pump. Make sure the water's warm. You always got to have warm water. Not to where it's uncomfortable, but it should be a little warm. Echo, start a timer for 20 seconds. We're going to scrub the, the palms together, the backs, get the backs, you want to get under those nails, you should get in there real good, scrub, 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 you can sing happy birthday to yourself, I think it's once, you can do, I do my hair toes, check my nails, oh there's 20 seconds, if you have a Google or Echo at home, you can use them to time yourself for 20 seconds, all right, and then now you want to make sure you dry them off real good because if it's still wet, then it'll just give a place for bacteria to grow more. So you want to dry them off really, really good. Awesome. All clean. We'll let our craft dry and we will be back in a little bit. Don't let a pigeon drive the bus. Holy moly. What a bad idea. So the words and pictures are by Mo Willems. I hope I'm saying that right. Not like Willem, like Willems. So look at it, we got a little funny pigeon. Hi, I'm the driver of the bus. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while, so can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks, and oh, remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. So we're watching the bus. We cannot let the pigeon drive the bus. Are you guys ready? He's going for a little break. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I thought we said no pigeons are allowed. I thought he'd never leave. Uh-oh. What do you think we should do? Should we tell him to get out of here? Hey, can I drive the bus? What do you guys think? What, the driver just said no. We shouldn't let him drive. Please, I'll be careful. Uh, he makes a pretty good argument. What do you guys think? Should we let him drive it? I'll tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. Oh, well, if his cousin Herb drives a bus, I'm sure he knows how to. What do you guys think? Should we let him just steer? True story. Hmm. Vroom, vroomy, vroom, vroom, vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. No? Should we let him? I never get to do anything. Aw, oh, poor pigeon. Should we let him drive the bus just a little bit? Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play Drive the Bus. Well, that sounds like a fun game. Should we play? I'll go first. Hmm? Come on, just around the block once. Should we let him? He makes a pretty good argument. I'll be your best friend. How about I give you five bucks? No fair. I'll bet your mom would let me. Would your mom let him? No. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. Fine. I think he's getting the idea. We're not going to let him drive the bus. Let me drive the bus! Holy moly. Whoa, he doesn't look very happy now. But the driver said we're not supposed to let him. Specifically him. I'm back. You didn't let the 
pigeon drive the bus, did you? Uh-oh. Great, thanks a lot. Did we do a good job? Did we keep the pigeon off the bus? Bye. Oh, poor pigeon. Pidgey. Hey. Uh-oh. Now what's he trying to drive? Almost looks like it might be like a big semi-truck. It is a semi-truck. Uh-oh. Whoa. He's dreaming about it. He's like, if only I could get in a semi-truck and drive away. What do you guys think? Is that a pretty good book? What was your favorite part of it? I liked it when we didn't let him drive the bus, ever. <laughs> Anyone who's making this craft today, please post pictures and tag me in them. I want to see them. I want to see all the fun, happy smiles from you guys and all your lovely crafts. So please make sure you tag me in those pictures. Um, who's ready to meet a pet? Gyro! This is Gyro. Does anyone have any questions about Gyro? Or How old is Gyro? Gyro actually just turned 10 years old in September. Still looks like a puppy though, just like me. We'll look young forever. I've had him for nine years, 10, nine and a half years. I am his second owner. Um, I got him off a lady in Enderby who found out she was pregnant with another kid so she didn't have time for a dog. So I was lucky enough to get him. My little baby. Who's ready to meet another pet then? Do you guys want to meet Moose? Who's ready for a pig? Yeah. So pre-warning, he is going to make a lot of noise. Um, it does sound kind of scary, but he's very happy. He just makes a lot of noise because that's what pigs do. So I'm going to go out and get him, and I will give him a little snack for you guys. So, so here's Moose. So feel free to ask any questions about Moose. He is a pig. Uh, he is full grown. I have no idea how much he weighs, probably over 100 pounds. Um, he is a mini pig, that means he will stay this size. Um, some people think mini pigs stay the size of gyro, that is false, that is them as a piglet. So if you are getting a pig, please make sure you are well aware of what you're getting in your oven to. Because they are lifelong pets. Can you kiss him, like snuggle his snout? Um, I would if I wasn't wearing $50 worth of makeup. Um, <laughs> I do snuggle him. He's got a little bed in my bedroom. So in the morning, sometimes I crawl in bed with him and cuddle. He loves to cuddle. Very cuddly. He likes to spoon. He's a very good spooner. Very cuddly pig. Can you turn around so people aren't looking at your butt? Holly asks how old is Moose. Here. Moose just turned five. Moose turn <laughs> So when I got him, he was actually smaller than Gyro. Um, as you can see, he's got a little bigger, but I knew what I was getting into when I picked out a pig. What's Moose's favorite snack? Uh, food. <laughs> <laughs> he is not very, he doesn't like cabbage or broccoli that much. He'll eat broccoli, but he won't eat cabbage. Um, and he's not a big fan of herbs. A lot of like really flavorful herbs he won't eat. He'll eat a bit of parsley, but that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna put Moose back outside and then we'll head back to our craft to finish that up. All right. So, my paint has not fully, fully dried, but that's okay. I will show you guys what you need to do next. You guys can always wait for it to dry and finish yours later. So I got my little card here. I'm gonna draw a little happy character. I'm actually gonna draw a different character than I normally do. So I'm gonna actually make a happy little jellyfish. So then I can put that with my little whale friend. So, the way to attach your little happy character is either tape or hot glue if you have a parent handy. Uh, make sure you're not using scissors without parents around if you're too young. So, I'm going to use tape just for ease of video. So, uh, you can use a popsicle stick again, like I said, or you can just use a piece of cardboard. A piece of cardboard will work fine. If it's a little flimsy, you can fold it in half if you need to. Mine's actually pretty strong, so I might not need to. And then you're just going to attach. And then you're just going to attach your happy little. So I put a little tape loop on the back. Uh, glue works too. If you're using white glue, obviously you have to wait a little bit for it to dry. But there's my happy little. <laughs> so now I'm going to take some scissors. And basically, you're just going to cut a hole, a little strip part way through. If you look on this one here, there's a little slit so you can go side to side. So this part you might need some help from mom and dad. Uh, so I'm gonna use an exacto knife just because it's a little easier for me. Uh, obviously don't use one without a mom, like mom and dad have to use this one. You can't do this. Too sharp and then watch, mo tell mom and dad too, be careful mom and dad. We don't want any cuts right now. No unnecessary hospital visits. So yeah, you just want a little slit Part way through. 
And I'm just going to put my little happy jelly jelly in his noodle lotion. Doo, doo, doo. So that's our craft. Uh, once it's fully dried, if you want to, you can draw whatever you want in there. So obviously I did an ocean scene, so I drew some birds in there. I drew a happy little fish at the bottom. But yeah, you can make it whatever you want. And then you have little puppet shows. Do, do, do. You can even make more characters if you want to. You can have a couple characters in your little puppet show. It'd be awesome. Please show me once you're all done. Um, I definitely want to see pictures, because look how cute they are. And you can be like, hey, sister, I'm gonna do a little puppet show for you. Do, do, do. If you have a little story to go along with it, if you're uh, uh, maybe in like grade two or three and you have a little story, your mom and dad are gonna write it for you. Write out your story, I'd love to see it. Um, it's a great time to practice your spelling and writing as well. Uh, yeah, school's gonna be out for a little while, so keep practicing your spelling. Make sure, so you can show your teacher, come back and be like, hey look, I can write my whole name, no problem. Um, if anyone also has any ideas for me for fun videos, if you want to send some family funny videos, send me a message. Um, any tip was taken, and I will do any funny videos for you <laughs> that you want. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining, and I will see you again soon. Bye, everyone.